You might be asking yourself, a laundromat, why in the world would I buy a laundromat out of all things? I mean, might as well take the money and put it into real estate or buy crypto since that's what you're good at or heck, even put it into a Roth IRA. I mean, yeah, I can buy all those things, but there are some reasons that when I found out about the laundromat business, I told myself this is going to be my next venture. Keyword for me, I don't want you guys going out and buying a laundromat just because you saw this video. I mean, if the reasons I talk about in this video persuade you, then go for it. I just don't want to see those comments where I say I bought a laundromat because of you and now I'm losing money. I mean, realistically, I don't think that will happen, but you never know. Yo, 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 what is up, guys? It's your boy, Forrest. And yes, you read the title, right? I'm going to be buying myself a laundromat and I'm going to share with you why I think that's the best investment for me right now. But before I do, smash that like button, subscribe if you guys haven't already. I make videos all about finance, money, entrepreneurship, all that good stuff. So if you're interested in that stuff, why not subscribe? So what made me want to get into the laundromat business? There's actually a lot of things, but I'm going to share with you a couple of things that really pushed me over the edge. For those of you that don't already watch my videos, you know, I'm really big on consistent and reliable income, income where I know no matter what, I'll be making a set amount every single month. A good example for me right now is my job I'm at. I do a whole bunch of other stuff on the side, but I know at the end of the day, I'm going to make a certain amount for my job every single month. Now, some people might not like that and they think I should be more riskier because because I am young, but that's just me and this is my preference. If you want to know more about my source of income and why I enjoy having a consistent reliable income, you can check that video out by clicking right up here or clicking down the description box below. With a laundromat, you get that consistent reliable income. Well, to an extent because it is a business and businesses numbers aren't going to be the same every single month. But what makes laundromats a more consistent type of business is that it's a need based business. No matter how great the economy is or how bad it is, no matter what time of the year it is, everyone needs to wash their clothes. You might be thinking, oh, since this business has a consistent reliable income, the prices of buying laundromats have to be super expensive because there is pretty much no risk. But that's not the case at all. Laundromats have a pretty low startup cost compared to other types of businesses. You can go two routes. You can buy a running laundromat with all the machines and clientele already built up or you can build one from scratch. Building a laundromat from scratch might run you up to almost a half a million dollars, which is an estimate since there are a lot of factors that go into it, such as if the machines are coin or card operated, how large a commercial space you need, location, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So the price could be a lot lower or it could be a lot higher. But buying a pre-built laundromat might only cost you about $100,000 and with majority cases going as low as to almost $40,000. Now, this also depends on a lot of things like a previously mentioned location size machines but with this option you already get a clientele that is going to this laundromat so you aren't starting from scratch now obviously there are those laundromats that are half a million dollars that are already built that do crazy numbers and have a crazy clientele but that's not what i'm going for one because i'm not dropping half a million on a laundromat and two i personally don't see the point in it i want to buy a laundromat for the passive income row i don't want to be spending all my time maintaining that business because larger numbers in a business usually comes with larger headaches. Another cool thing I do on my hunt for laundromats, or honestly, you can do this with any other business, is ask the owners for their previous year's tax returns and their monthly PL statements or monthly profit and loss statements. With this information, you get a brief overview of how the business is doing, see if maybe it's profitable, how high the expenses are, and maybe see if you can mess around with the expenses if you were to take over the business and see if you can cut them down and if you weren't profitable, maybe become profitable with the business. But you have to be very careful because this is the game of business and numbers can be manipulated such as if a business knows they're planning on selling their business for their previous year's tax returns they might show a higher income on their taxes now the reason they do this is because when they do make the decision that they're going to sell the business they know that people are going to ask for their previous year's tax returns now when the people ask for it they'll show it to them and when the potential buyers see the inflated numbers on the tax returns they're more inclined to buy the business because it shows a track record of how reliable the business is and it shows that it's been making money for the past couple of years and it is profitable so what i usually do is take into account a 30 percent dip in revenue now what this does is let's say i do take over the business the numbers aren't going to be the same when i take it over there's going to be some fluctuations and let's say the business is inflating the numbers a little bit this will give me a brief overview of how the business would do even with a 30 percent dip in revenue and see if it is still profitable so you have to be very careful when you plan on buying a business because a lot of things don't exactly come out to what you thought it would be last 
last year, I think it was May or June of 2020, I came across this laundromat that I thought was an amazing deal. I went and checked it out and everything looked good. The owner was asking for $134,000 and as I said, it was a pretty good spot. It was about 3,500 square feet for the whole laundromat, which is really big for a laundromat. It had new machines. The only thing was it was coin operated, which sucks because you're dealing with all those extra quarters. I prefer a card because you don't have to deal with those quarters. It goes straight to your bank account, but it wasn't that big of a deal for me. But when he sent over the numbers, it just didn't add up. I sent him an offer of $80,000 and he didn't accept. So I moved on. Then I think about six months later in November, he hit me up and he said if I'm still interested and he can sell it for $60,000. That's $20,000 below what I initially offered him. Now, although the numbers kind of made sense at that point, I was way too skeptical. There had to be a reason why he dropped the price over 50% in less than a year. Now, remember, my whole point getting into the business was buying a laundromat that was already running that would make me passive income without doing a lot of work. Even though the price was a great price, I didn't want to put that much money into it even though it might have been a steal for me because putting in that much time and energy into growing a business back from the ground up would take a lot out of my time and as I said, that's not something I really wanted to do. And as I was doing a lot more research on that business and the competition around it, there were actually a lot more laundromats around that area and I didn't want to deal with that competition hurdle. I'm also looking for laundromats in lower middle income areas as usually the houses and apartment complex people rent from usually don't have washing machines so it's a must for them to have to come to a laundromat. So how will I be making money from a laundromat and how much can I actually make from it? Well, you have your main source, which will most likely be from the machines that people use to pay for the washer and people pay to use for the dryer. That will probably be your main source. Then you can add more services such as a drop-off service where customers can drop off their clothes and you'll do the laundry for them and they just have to come pick it up. Now, obviously you would be paying a premium for this, which would be more money for you. And you can sell soap, snacks, and vending machines to make some extra money here and there as well. So how much are we talking? Obviously the numbers vary, but revenue wise, a laundromat can probably make anywhere in between $50,000 to maybe $200,000 for the type of laundromat I'm looking for. Now remember that's revenue. If we were talking about cash flow, it might cash flow a net positive of about a couple thousand dollars a month. Like I said, it all varies on a lot of different things, but these are just some estimates. So if we take my example of the one I was looking to purchase last year, it did about $120,000 in sales in 2020, and you can see all the expenses it had as well. Net positive income of about $30,000. Now this was a one owner laundromat and he did all this on the side as well. He said he built up different systems where he didn't have to do much work, leaving him at the end of the day with about $2,500 profit every month. Not bad if you ask me. And generally, laundromats are a low maintenance business. It doesn't require a lot of work. It pretty much runs itself, which is exactly what I want. I don't want to be spending a lot of time in this business. Like I said, I want it to be passive. I personally think laundromats are a great low cost business to get into with decent returns. If you're looking at it as a way to make extra money, it definitely can get you that. So these were the reasons as to why I'm planning on buying a laundromat. The low startup cost compared to all the other businesses, the hands off part while also making decent income were all a huge plus to me. Also, I forgot to mention it's a cash only business. I'll leave it at that. Let me know if you guys ever considered getting into the laundromat business or what your thoughts are on the business. Or maybe if you know anyone that has a laundromat, maybe you can send me some tips down in the comment section below. Remember, drop a like, subscribe if you guys haven't already. It helps the YouTube algorithm show my videos to more people. But I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys in next week's video. Peace.